to show you how to make a misa. It's my uh, son's 28th birthday, and they're all coming over tonight. And we're going to have misa instead of pizza. And I wanted to do a shout out to Paleo OMG, who is originally who I got the idea from. She has a great pizza recipe that you can go to her blog and, and check it out. And she's great. She's got a lot of really awesome recipes, a lot of uh, Paleo and CrossFit information, too. And she's terrific. So I want to give a shout out to her and thank her for her inspiration in this meal. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because my kids tried it. And my son said it didn't turn out so great. And I thought... I wonder why. And so I talked to him some more, and I think it's because the hamburger just wasn't quite thin enough, and there's just a super easy way to fix that problem. You don't want your meat so thick, you end up with burger in a bowl type of situation where you have too much burger and not enough fun toppings to make it more like pizza. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you that um, and show my kids that too, so they'll have it. I have two pounds of grass-fed ground beef right here, and I'm going to shape it first like this. And then put it on here, flatten it out a little bit with my hands. I always use parchment paper on the bottom. I use parchment paper for everything, not just uh, my meat, uh, meatsas, but also all my um, sweet treat recipes. Almost all my recipes I do that. It really helps keep it from sticking. So then what I do is get this guy. I love this rolling pin. It's got to be 25 years old. It's missing the um, handles on it. But I like it this way, so I've kept it all these years. So. What I'm going to do is use a rolling pin. I just don't think using just your hands is enough to get it thin enough to where it's a nice um, misa. And let's do this. And then I have a rectangle pan right now that I'm using. I also have a round one, and I'll show you that one in a minute. nice and thin. This will also give it, make it a little more even, too. So make sure you have your parchment paper, one on the bottom, one on the top, so nothing is sticking. You don't want it sticking to your rolling pin. Almost there. Now what I did with the hamburgers, I also added some Italian seasoning and then I mixed it up in the bowl. So if you want to flavor up your meat, you can do that too with any kind of seasonings you like. I like the Italian blend. It's an organic blend of uh, seasoning. Um, you could use garlic, garlic salt. Uh, if you want to keep it simple, you can add red uh, pepper flakes if you want a spicy meat. That's a good way to do it too. Alright, so I want you to see this. It's nice and flat. See that? That's what you want it to look like. Super thin. Then you're going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. It doesn't take very long because it's so thin. Um, I'm going to show you the other one I have. It's in a round pan, so it looks more like a pizza. And you're going to notice that it shrinks. It does. It does shrink. This is a round one. I'm going to dip some of the fat out of there or pour some of that out of there. Alright, I'm going to put my other pizza in. I'm making lots because I have both my sons and their wives coming tonight. And baby Jodo, yay! <laughs> Get to see my grandma. I'm so excited. Um, Alright, so here's the pizza and we're going to um, put the sauce on. I find um, the pizza sauce that has the best ingredients in it. I get it at Whole Foods. Um, if you don't have a Whole Foods, you can check online. Make sure you look at your ingredients. And if you can't find a pizza sauce, then you can also use tomato paste, add a little Italian seasoning uh, to that, and pour that right on. And it's really good, too. So I'm going to pour a little bit of this on. Spread it around. Again, nice and thin. It doesn't, you won't want anything too overwhelming. That's the great thing about pizza. It's a little bit of everything is what makes it so yummy. All right, there's that nice layer. And then I'm going to put some goodies on. Now I have two different types I'm going to make today. Um, the one I'll show you 
has, um, we're going to do bell pepper. This has bell pepper, different colors, so we have lots of pretty colors for the mitza. And some basil. I found the basil leaves are so good. <laughs> we have that, and then we have some onion. The red onion, I prefer the um, red onion. Um, I also have some sausage. I cooked up some nitrate-free sausage, and that's really good. And I have some sun-dried tomatoes. Those are delicious, too. So we're just going to put everything right on top. I'm going to do, I think I'll do my onions first. So you're going to spread it out nice and thin, not too much. Like I said, it doesn't take a lot make it really good. In fact, sometimes less is more, right? Actually. <laughs> sometimes, not always. <laughs> all right, and then I'm going to do some bell pepper. I want all the different colors. So I can I think it's just so pretty that way. There's the red, yellow, orange, and some basil. Uh-oh, Javi just got home. First time he's walked in while I'm doing a video. Hi, honey. <laughs> I'm making pizza. <laughs> oh, meats are my favorite! <laughs> Don't be a dork. <laughs> you want to say hi? <laughs> Here's yeah. a sausage. You say happy birthday. Happy birthday to John. This is for John's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Do you have it. This is my life. Happy life. birthday to you. And the sun dried tomatoes. Happy birthday, my little Jonathan. Oh happy birthday. <laughs> happy, happy birthday to you. Very good, honey. Would you like to take a bow? No, because then he doesn't get the call tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Because oh. I just did it on video. There it is. It's ready. That's the birthday Misa. That's what we're going to be eating. The other one I'm making Where's is... Where's mine? <laughs> you can have part of this. Oh, okay. I have some of uh, The other one I'm going to be making is a Canadian bacon and pineapple. And the Canadian bacon is nitrate-free. Hubby found that for me. And uh, it should be absolutely delicious. We have Canadian bacon, pineapple, and the red onion. Paleo coffee. <laughs> Anyway, so you can make it with it whatever you want. And if you have a party, you can do a little mini misa and let people do whatever they want, do different types of misa. Anyway, have fun with that. God bless. Happy birthday, my son. I love you. Wait, 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 wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. With misa, you got to have cerveza. Cerveza. <laughs> have a good night. God bless. Bye.